Hello students, let us read this question. By splitting the following figure into rectangles, find their areas. So we have given two figures and from this figure we have to uh, we have to split this figure into rectangles and we have to find out the area of the rectangles. So let us consider the first figure. So first uh, we will draw the diagram. So uh, figure one. So let us first draw the figure. Then it is uh, like this and now let us try to give the names of uh, naming of this figure A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Then let us draw this J. This will be P. Then let us connect this also. Uh, it uh, let us give this as R uh, Q and let us give this as R. So and now let us uh, write the values. So four three three four so four three three four. Then uh, two two three one. This is two, this is two, this is three, and this is one. Okay. Now, uh, after drawing this figure, we can see that there are total four triangles. So, first triangle is A, B, P, J. Second is C, P, I, H. Third is R, D, Q, H. And fourth is E, R, G, F. Okay. Now, in order to find out the area, let us first uh, find out the sides of these uh, rectangles. So, let us first find out for AB. Let us find out AB. So, from the figure, we can see that AB plus CD, AB plus CD will be equal to FE plus GH plus IJ. Now, AB we need to find out, CD we have given as 3, then FE is 4, GH is 2, and IJ is 1. So, this will be AB equals to 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 minus 3 will be 4. So, AB comes out to be 4. Now, similarly, let us try to find out, uh, let us try to find out PB also. Or we can find out, uh, or we can find out JA. So, like we can write here for JA, we can say that uh, ED from the figure again, we can say that ED plus CB will be equal to FH plus HI plus JA. Now, ED is 3, CB is 4. F H is 2 and H I is 3 plus J A. So this will be 3 plus 4 which is 7. 7 equals to 2 plus 3 is 5. So this will be 7 minus 5 which is J A. So J A comes out to be 2. Now we have we have found out the length and breadth for the first triangle or rectangle. Now let us consider the second. So for second we will first find out I P. So we can consider here for IP. So we can say that now from the diagram AB is nothing but the sum of AP, uh, IP plus IJ. Now AB we have found out as 4. So it will be 4 equals to IP plus IJ we know 1. So IP will come out to be 4 minus 1 which is 3. Now uh, we have found out IP. Now we will find out CP. So we can say that for uh, CP, we will consider CB will be equal to CP plus PB. Now we can see that AB, PJ is a rectangle and we know that opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. So since AJ is equal to 2, so PB will also be equal to 2. So we can write here that CP will be equal to CB minus PB and CB is 4. 
and PB will be equal to 2. So CP will be again 2. So we have found out the length and breadth for the second triangle uh, rectangle also. Now for, uh, let us find out the uh, length and breadth for the uh, third rectangle. So let us find out uh, QC here. So QC will be nothing but uh, we can write write that QC Q, uh, FE plus uh, GH will be equal uh, FE plus QC will be equal to will be equal to HR. So FE FE plus GH FE plus uh, GH is nothing but HR will be equal to HR. Now FE we have given as 4 and uh, GH is 2. So HR will be 4 plus 2 which is 6. Now we have found out the Len, uh, length for this triangle length for this rectangle and now we will find out the breadth also so we need to find out h cube so for h cube we can see that or uh, or h we can find out rd also so from the figure we can see that uh, uh, e, e D is nothing but E R plus R D. So we can write here that E D is nothing but E R plus R D. And E D we have given as 3. And so total E D is 3. And out of this E R is, since it is a rectangle, so E R will be equal to F, uh, F G and F G is 2. So we can write here that ed is 3 and since er is a uh, e opposite side of er is fg which is 2 so we can write here 2 plus rd so rd will be 3 minus 2 which is 1 we have found out this uh, length as 6 and breadth as 1 now for the final rectangle we have length as 4 and breadth as 2 so we have all the sides now now let us find out the area so let us first find out the area of A, B, P, J. We can write here for rectangle A, B, P, J. Now length for this rectangle is 4 and breadth is 2. So length is 4, breadth is 2. We know the area of rectangle is length into breadth. So it will be 4 into 2 which is 8 which will be 8. Uh, now we have given it in centimeter so this will be centimeter square now consider the next triangle uh, rectangle which is uh, cpih so for cpih we know that length is 3 and breadth is 2 cpih length is 3 breadth is 2 so area will be 3 into 2 which is 6 centimeter square Similarly, for a tri uh, rectangle, for rectangle RDQH, so RDQH, the length is one, uh, length is six and breadth is one. RDQH, R length is six, breadth is one. So area will be six centimeter square, and similarly. For rectangle, for rectangle F uh, E R G F, E R G F the length is two. Sorry, length is four and uh, breadth is two. E R G F length is four, breadth is two. So area is eight centimeter square. So using the concept uh, or the properties of rectangle we have found out the area of the rectangle in the given figure now let us consider the next figure so the figure is so this is the second figure so let us try to draw this figure okay. 
so is uh, this is our second figure and we need to find out the first we need to find out the rectangles and we have to find out the areas of this rectangle so let us name this rectangle a b c d e f g h i g and the values is 3 1 3 2 1 3 1 3 2 1 this is a uh, 5 and this so we need to find uh, so from this diagram we can see that there are three rectangles first is a b c j second is i j d e and third is h i f g so for the uh, first triangle uh, first rectangle h i f g we have length and length as three breadth as uh, one so we can find out this area and for a b c g we can say that from the diagram since the opposite sides are equal so we can say that h g will be equal to a b and since h g is three so a b will be also three three centimeter okay so a b will be three now we need to find out the side for this uh, triangle uh, sorry rectangle i i j d e we need to find out the sides so uh, from the diagram we can see that uh, h a is equal to h i plus i j plus j a h a total is 5 centimeter h i will be nothing but a uh, 1 and j a j will be also 1 because opposite sides of the rectangle are equal so it will be 1 plus i j plus 1 so i j comes out to be 3 centimeter so we know we know the uh, we know the sides of the rectangle then now we can find out the area of area for this rectangle so for for rectangle a b c j we can see that the length is 3 breadth is 1 so area will be 3 into 1 which is 3 cm square similarly for rectangle I, I, J, I, J, D, E. The length is 3 and breadth is 1. So again, area will be 3 cm square. And for a rectangle, H, I, G, F, the length is 3 and breadth is again 1 so area will be again 3 centimeters square so using the concept of uh, properties of rectangle we have found out the area of rectangle for the given figure so i hope you have understood it well and thank you don't forget to like and subscribe